Yo, it's Alan Young here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can recover some abandoned checkouts. So uh, if you haven't got an abandoned cart checkout sequence on your store, then it's highly recommended that you do that because you are leaving money on the table. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an abandoned cart campaign or uh, if I get my words out, an abandoned cart checkout sequence that will recover some of those uh, lost customers. And uh, you know that is uh, definitely worth doing and uh, all the uh, revenue you can get back in your store is uh, definitely worth doing. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the legendary platform that is Commerce HQ. If you don't know what it is yet, then have you been hiding under a rock? How do you not know about Commerce HQ? If you don't know about it, go and check out my uh, all my other videos. I literally uh, share lots of content around Commerce HQ. It's basically the ultimate alternative to Shopify where everything is built into the platform, all the apps, all the stuff that you ever need in a drop shipping or e-commerce platform, uh, it's all under one roof. Uh, so if you do want to check that out, make sure you go and check out my other videos and I'll put a link in the description where you can get two free stores with your uh, with your plan or whatever it is that you do if you want to go and sign up. But it's no drama either way, you can still uh, see about setting up an abandoned cart checkout whether you are using this or not. Um, and listen, before we go any further, Further. If we are not friends yet, join the family and uh, click subscribe and uh, then you can hear my voice or see my pretty face in some other videos. But with that being said, let's get straight into it. So I'm on the back end of Commerce HQ. This is the, uh, I've created, I'm starting, well, I'm just about to create a new campaign for you. And to do that, along the uh, the tabs in the back end, you literally click on abandon checkouts and then you've got an option where you just click new campaign. That's it. And then you get taken to this page. So I'm literally going to take you through how you can set up a abandoned cart checkout in literally like five minutes. So let's call this campaign super amazing uh, abandoned car, abandoned, oh God, it's in my spelling, is going to be tested, abandoned car campaign, there you go, right, so this is my campaign name, and let me tell you, one thing is that you can do a Commerce HQ is you can actually split test campaign, so you can create, say, say two campaigns, and if they're both on as active, what Commerce HQ will do is send the traffic, um, and split it evenly and then you get stats and you can check you know see which is doing better so one might be five percent one might be 4.5 so then you're going to turn off the 4.5 keep the five percent uh, one must convert at five percent and then create another version and see if you can improve it and if you can improve that one and get that converting at five and a half percent say then turn off the five percent campaign and just keep trying to improve it till you can get as high as you can get and that's sort of what i done i started off one with about four percent and then it gradually built up to uh, just over five point something percent which is uh you know quite a decent improvement and i'm sure if i kept playing around i could have got it higher so anyway with that being said let's get going so first thing you do is literally click add automated email then the first one that i recommend is do a reminder um reminder email you literally click that click continue and then you get an option of templates that you can use. So you can go with the old plain Jane template if that's what you like. You've got the stylish, one called clean, and then the minimal. So I like using the minimal, it's quite clean, does the job, and uh, that's all I want. So, so you can pick email subject lines, so they've got some pre-written in for you, or you can actually put your own. If you're a super badass copywriter and you know what you're doing, then it might be worth doing your own. But these do the trick, these ones anyway, so I'm gonna use did you forget something? Nice and simple. So click that, continue, and then it gives you the email headline. So that's the top of the email. So you could put anything here. I'm just gonna put, um, did you forget something? Um, I'm actually not gonna put that because someone, I've already done that in the subject. So let's, um, do, 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 do. there's something in your cart. Yeah, let's do that one. And then click continue. Then the body text. We noticed that you put some items in your cart before you left your order. Mm, I'm gonna do, um, uh, do, 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 let's just do that for the minute. Keep it simple. You can literally put your own ones in, edit it. You can even, what I like to do sometimes is actually go onto uh, popular stores that you like the look of, go to uh, the uh, checkout process and then abandon the car and just see what they send you. And if it looks good, use the text and uh, sort of build out your own uh, abandoned cart sequence similar to what you've seen so anyway the call to action button is is what it is it's just a button so i like to use resume your checkout or complete checkout that's it 
and then here we go it's your first one obviously you want your logo in there just to save time i'm not going to bother doing it but this is how it would look you would have your logo there then it would have the the text and then i like to color it the same as my logo so my logo's got gold in it i actually put change that button color as you can there to gold so it's customizable which is great so put your logo in there or there you can change the color of your button to match your logo and there you go that's going to be set for 20 minutes after they abandon the car and then um and they're going to get that first one so next thing is you create another email so i'm going to do that now and the next one let's put a warning so that's sort of going to remind them that you know the product might be running out soon or or the t the offer is going to be running out soon so sort of get them back and hurry up and make that uh, sale before they lose out so again i'm going to go with a nice minimal look which is uh, the same as the last one obviously because i'm going to keep it congruent with uh, all of the emails and let's say for this one you could put we don't want you to miss out or hurry before these items sell out i'm going to put we're almost sold out then just a few left for that and then you can use whichever one you want here mm, let's just do this one so you can pick them put your own in like i said but you know their ones are good they do the job and then you can sort of build on from them um, later on once you start seeing what the stats are so there you go email subject line that's what they're going to see in their inbox then when they see that it's going to say just a few left then it's going to have the text as items left in your shopping cart blah 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 you get the point but they uh, definitely do the job so this one you put the time when it's that's going to be sent out that is one day after they got the last email or after they abandoned checkout so the first one was 20 minutes as you can see the next one's going to be a day later and then we're going to create another one so there you go so this is the third one getting created now i'm going to do the incentive so if they haven't come and bought back yet this is a good time to give them a little deal and uh, get them back in so you could do anything you could say come back get free shipping or come back and get 10 percent off that's what i'm gonna do so i like using this one you want to make a deal yeah punk i want to make a deal so use that one and then i actually use something else for this see i got this from uh somewhere else i don't know where i actually got it from but i actually use this so i'm gonna put it in there so firstly the email headline is order now we're throwing a 10 percent discount boom use that one and then i'm going to put my own one in so i'll read that to you in a second and this is for today only if you come back now and complete your order with the coupon code don't miss out if not we get the hint and we'll empty your cart and this will be the last time we mention it is that a deal so that's sort of uh, congruent with both of those and it looks good and then you can put complete checkout continue and then that's going to be sent out two days after and uh, that'd be your third email. So obviously you put your logo in and it would sort and it would look like that. So like I said, nice and clean, matches the uh, logo. If you change the button color, you can play around with all that stuff, change the border color, background and stuff. So it's fully customizable. But there you go, that's the third email, nice and simple. And they look clean, it's really good. And you could add as many as you want. If you want to put 100 in there, you can do that. You're probably gonna piss people off by sending that many, but you get the hint. You can set three or four up nice and quickly, and uh, and that's it. Then you'd click submit, and it's active, and you'd be good to go. So literally, that is all you have to do is just go through like that. You can use their templates, use their copy, and uh, and then you know you've got an abandoned cart sequence set up nice and easy. And like I said, it's it's free with Commerce HQ. You know what I'm saying, man. You can't complain for that. Like, you got to pay for that stuff with other platforms. There's a lot of other stuff you can do. Automated gift cards or just send out. That's another thing worth doing. Say when people are um, have purchased from you, it's good to follow up with an automated gift card saying, hey, thanks for your recent order. As an appreciation of your custom, we have given you a, a you know 20% gift voucher to be used in our store in the next 24 hours uh you know come back and use it now or you know something along them lines and you're going to get a percentage you know that are going to come back it might not be a massive but it adds up so if you've got a small percentage come back and use a gift card voucher and then you have a small percent come back and and so um repurchase your abandoned cart campaign and then say you have a small percentage this um let's see if this pops up now i don't know if it's going to pop up because i've already done it enough times today no normally because uh, i've set it only three times a day and i've already done it three times but normally a pop-up will come up when i'm just about to leave the page and it will say hey uh stay and we'll give you a 10 percent discount 
voucher you can use now and and people do use it so they all they all add up so use your abandoned cart campaign use an automated gift card campaign use the exit pop-up overlay which is built in like to to compensate hq if i can see it lead capture overlay and uh you know all those little things are part of the parcel are going to bring you some more sales which you otherwise wouldn't have had so definitely worth checking out so before i go like i said if we're not friends why not click subscribe join the family drop a like if you like this video and one more thing if you do have any questions if there's any videos that you would like to see around commerce hq or around drop shipping let me know and i will try and make a video around it so uh, i'm currently i'm going to be able to create some content for you guys that's what you know helps me get some ideas for some videos and that obviously it gives you value by uh, creating stuff for you as well so uh, yeah, hit me up in the comments below. You know, let me know if there's anything that you specifically want a video around, and uh, you know, you know, put a comment in there as well. If you've got anything you want to say or any questions, just put it in there, and I nearly all the time get back pretty quick. So uh, um, yeah, that's it really. I'm gonna leave it there, man. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't got Commerce HQ, join the family. Go and get it with two free stores in my link below, and I will see you in another video. Till then.